Hi guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my last cleaning for Christmas motivational video. I cannot believe how fast it's went by, but here it is. I know a lot of us are trying to get our house ready for guests and company so we can all do it together. As you can see, I'm starting off in Savannah's bedroom. I normally don't clean in here often. You guys probably don't see her room very much lately just because she's got old enough and cleans it on her own. But if we have a company or guests come over to spend the night, this is kind of where they stay. We used to have a guest bedroom, but then we um, put the playroom in, which is just so much more functional as far as an everyday basis goes. And I like this being the guest room when people come because they do have that bathroom attached so they can get ready. It's got the big closet for their bags, so it just works out best. So this room is gonna need a, just a good deep cleaning. Um, I've got her clean sheets that need to go on the bed. I'm putting all her laundry away. I'm gonna work on the bathroom. So let's just get to cleaning this room. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting her new sheets on that I got clean. I know somebody's gonna probably ask this question, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. You guys are probably curious where Savannah stays if we have company over. Um, for Christmas, Savannah stays at her grandparents' house, and then sometimes the adults come stay at mine, so like the kids are there with grandma, and then we'll get ready and go back and see them in the morning. So that's where she is. If she happens to be at our house when we have company over, her playroom does have a futon she can stay on, or if the people have kids, they can stay in there. She can sleep with us, she can make a pallet, she can sleep on her sofa. So there's lots of options for like kids, but I like to have the bed just for the adults. As you can see, I'm just like layering up her bed. She has a top sheet. She has like that throw blanket. This is a comforter. And then I'm actually gonna put another comforter on top. I feel like this is like the cold room in the house or the hot room, depending on what season it is. Um, so I just like for her to have lots of covers. And then if she gets hot, she can just throw them off. Plus, me and her really sleep better when we have some weight on us. I think we would love weighted blankets. Um, so that's why I'm putting on so many layers, if you're wondering. So she has a lot more pillows that like match the comforters, but she has moved them into the playroom. She loves having them on her futon where they can just like relax and chill in there. So luckily I've been making it work with just all her Christmas pillows, but she does have like the matching shams. They're just currently over in the playroom. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab my Jaws cleaner. I was just showing you, some of you guys like to know what I'm using, and then I'm using the Jaws rag. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all her furniture. I know she does this often, but just knowing that if somebody's gonna be in this room, I just wanna go over it so that I know it's nice and clean. So um, this is like, it says for wood floors, but I use it on all my wood furniture, on all my painted furniture, and it works super well. I do have that link down below in my description box and a coupon code. If you guys are, are interested in anything like that, you can check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna use that same product right here on her like entry table. I don't think it's any kind of wood, but I feel like these products are really like multi-purpose or maybe that's just how I use them. It just saves me from like running and grabbing a different product. So I'm gonna wipe this down. She keeps her scrunchies and like cell phone cases on it. 
but when company comes over, I could totally clear that off, put it somewhere else, and then they have the extra space for their belongings or items. And then I'm gonna wipe off my blinds. This is just an area I completely forget to do. I'm good about doing like the living room and the kitchen, but I always forget about her bedroom. And with guests coming over, they always love to like look out and see our lot. And I'm always like, ah, I should have cleaned those. So if you have company coming over, definitely check your blinds. Now it's time to move into her bathroom. This is one of the reasons I loved this house is I knew she would have an attached bathroom. So the majority of the time, as you guys can see, I'm just using the Jaws shower cleaner. But the majority of the time, the reason I love this space is it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like kids always have like the hand towel down. There's always toothpaste in the sink, but it's like in her room, tucked away, nobody knows. But with guests coming, I wanna get it nice and clean because this is what they'll be using. And I also love that it's just attached. So if they're like taking a shower or getting ready, they don't even have to walk out of the bedroom. So this is just a nice little perk. It kind of sold me on the house, this and my kitchen island. <laughs> so I'm just scrubbing her bathtub really well. It wasn't super dirty. I mean, she's a little girl and she may shower in there, but that's about it. Um, Cause she'll just get ready in my beauty room with me. So I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and clean and ready to go for our guest. If you're enjoying today's video, I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up or like button down below. It definitely helps me out. And if you're new, my name is Ashley and I would love for you to subscribe and join my family here. So definitely hit that red subscribe button down below. Um, I make two cleaning videos a week and then I also post two to three vlogs on our vlog channel. So I'll have all those links down below in my description box. So definitely make sure you're following us both places. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time When I'm done cleaning like my sink and countertop, I always love to grab just like a hand towel and dry everything off. I feel like your sink or kitchen or bathroom sink, whatever you're cleaning isn't clean until it's like dried out. I feel like it just looks so much better. So if you haven't tried that little tip, definitely try it out next time because when you're cleaning, you're typically about to put up a new hand towel anyways. So just use that other one, dry everything out, make it look sparkly, add your nice hand towel and it just looks so pretty. Having a good, good time Now I'm gonna finish up by vacuuming the bathroom and then her carpet in her bedroom. Sometimes I save vacuuming for like the very end and I'll do the entire house at once. Sometimes I like to do it just so I can know that room is completely done. I do like to keep my cleaning routine fresh and new and I change it up almost every single time just because I feel like if you just do the same thing every time it gets boring and then you don't want to do it. So if you're like that with your routine right now, change something up. Start on the other side of the house, start in a different room, use a different product, just do something to keep it nice and fresh. Now we're gonna head into my master bedroom and luckily the bed was already made and I put fresh sheets on that. So when I cleaned the guest bedroom sheets or Savannah's room, I went ahead and cleaned ours. Not that they needed to be done, but it's just nice to know it's gonna smell fresh in there. And if our guests have clean sheets, I kind of want them too. 
I am gonna go ahead and wipe everything down in this room and you may ask why, guests aren't gonna be coming in there, but I like to just have my entire house open. I like my guests to know they can go in any room at any time and I'm not gonna panic. If they need to use our bathroom, they're gonna pass those on the way. So I just like to have everything in my house nice, fresh and clean so I don't have to panic. Everybody can have full access. Let me know if you're like that or if you like shut the doors and keep people blocked off. But I've always just wanted people to feel welcome and know they can go into any space in my home. Plus, when people come into my home, they love to look around because I'm always changing and rearranging. So I feel like the first thing they do is start going into the bedrooms, which I love. I love that people feel just like welcome and walk in. So I definitely keep my space clean for those reasons. <laughs> All right, now we're heading into my master bathroom. And just like I mentioned earlier, okay, here's the cleaner I'm using. I just pick it up from the Dollar Tree. I keep it underneath every sink. Well, I was actually low in this video. So when I got done, I actually ran to Dollar Tree and got three of everything because I was getting so low. But I like to keep just cheap products underneath the sink. But as I was mentioning earlier, I like my guests to have full access. So I wanna know my bathroom's open just in case they need it. Plus, even if not, we just need a clean bathroom. So I love to just go around, make sure our sinks are clean, wipe off the mirror. Um, I do clean the toilets, but I rarely show that on a cleaning video. I just don't think it's something that anybody enjoys watching. So just so you know, the toilets will be cleaned before company comes over. So I have two products that I love when I'm cleaning like windows or mirrors or anything like that. Um, I love to use my Jaws window cleaner. It's the non-toxic route, super safe, pet friendly. I have their link down below. If you're looking for more like cheap and budget friendly, not that Jaws isn't, but if you're looking for something that's only a dollar, you can go to Dollar Tree and get a vinegar based window cleaning product. I'll actually be using that in the next bathroom so you can see how well it does. And then I swear by this e-cloth rag. It's like a polishing rag. I've never seen anything like it um, and I just love using it so I have my e-cloth link down below if you guys are interested and then right now I'm just taking the Jaws wood floor cleaner again and just wiping down my cabinets. it's time to vacuum the carpet so this side of the house can be done we do have a humongous crate to the right of the screen right there we have just not found a great place for George he only needs the crate I think during Christmas he was doing great and then we put up our Christmas tree and he loves chewing on the wires so we have to crate him when we leave right now and we've had it in bathrooms but then we're down a bathroom and with guests coming we've just kind of left it out in our bedroom it's not super pleasing to the eye in any way shape or form but we love him so it's it's fine we're just dealing with it hopefully it'll be gone soon and then I went ahead and got my cleaners something crossed my mind that's like wow I haven't cleaned these in a while these two pieces were so dusty I could not believe it I seriously don't think I've ever cleaned them since I hung them I don't know when I hung them they've been up a while so you can see every time I wipe it I'm like looking at the rag like oh my goodness and then I have to like fold the rag in a different way just because it's so messy and then I had to break out the chair because I'm like okay if it's this bad I've got to get the top so I'm so thankful I cleaned that space. <laughs>
Okay, we are making progress. We are officially on the other side of the house. Whew, it always feels good. So now we're headed into my beauty room. If you're new, this is my beauty room slash office. I get ready in here. It has my closet in here. It has my desk where I work. So lots of things happen in this room. So I love to keep it clean. Um, you would think, oh, when people come over, you won't be in your beauty room. We really are. We can sit in there and chat because the guys stay in another room. So I always love to have like lots of seating in here. Plus, like if my sister or mom stay with me, I love to have it nice and clean because if you stay with me, you can get ready at my beauty room. Like who doesn't want to do that? So I just love to have the space wiped down and clean. So even if we're in there chatting or getting ready, it's just a nice and clean space. I feel like anytime you have white furniture, you have to wipe down often. Um, it does get dusty, but I feel like dust doesn't show that bad. If you had like black furniture, that would show worse. But I feel like since I edit here, Savannah does homeschool here sometimes and we'll be like snacking or eating. I don't know. Anytime you have white furniture, you just signing yourself up for cleaning a lot. So I do wipe down all my pieces once a week just to keep them nice and fresh looking. And then my computer screens also touch screen. I don't use it that way, but Savannah does for math. It's just easier for her. Um, so I like to wipe that down once a week because if you look in it right now, you can see it's like full of fingerprints. So I like to just kind of start with a fresh screen once a week. Come all ye faithful. My e-cloth polishing rag was already really wet from cleaning like all the other mirrors. So that's what I'm using to wipe down my computer screen and the mirror. It's already really damp, so I didn't need to use any more product. So that's nice as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clothes. I'd kind of been trying stuff on, so it wasn't where it needed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that up. And then I'm going to fluff my pillows and then give it a good vacuum. Him, come let us adore him. Come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation. Sing all your citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. All right, now it's time to head into my guest bathroom. This room never gets that messy because I feel like I come in here once a day and get it clean. I just never want it to be dirty. And if anybody stops by, I want it ready to go. So this is just a space I'm always working on every single day. So it never needs like a super deep cleaning. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe everything down so it's nice and fresh before company gets here. Now it's time to work on my living room, kitchen, and dining room. I definitely saved this space for last today. I'm just starting by putting George's toys away. He pulls them out, I think, just to despite me. I think it was God's way of just like making me loosen up a little bit. We love him, but he is definitely keeping us on our toes, but I would not trade him for the world. Um, now I'm just going to wipe off the coffee table and get it all nice and clean. I feel like we eat at it a lot um, just and have snacks and kick our feet up on it. So I'm just going from space to space in here and just dusting, getting all the wood finishes clean. And then I'm going to work on my front door as well. Christmas time on high. 
right, now it's time to head into my kitchen. I don't have to do much in here. I'm not gonna be doing like a big deep clean, just more of a speed clean, tidy up version. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in its home that's in here, and then I'm gonna wipe down my countertops and everything that's on them. But to be honest, my kitchen's just not that dirty. I don't use it often because I don't love to cook. So I'm just gonna kind of freshen it up. I always get tons of questions about those white canisters, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer them for you just in case you're curious. They came from Kirkland's, but I got them as like a housewarming gift about three years ago, so I don't know if they still have them. I used to be able to link them, but they don't have the link anymore. And then the tray that is on, I have that tray and then one over with like my dish soap on it. It came as a three tiered serving set and I have that linked on my Amazon store. So it's actually gonna look at like a serving tray, but you get three different size trays and you can use them throughout your kitchen to just display. Then if I need a serving tray, I can just pull everything off of them, wash them and put them onto that holder. So those were two things I just get asked about all the time. So I wanted to let you know. While I'm working on my dining room, I just wanna take a minute and say thank you. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you to every person that has their card hanging up on there on my shutters. Thank you for sending me your stories and telling me about you, your family. Um, just letting me know what this channel means to you. It has just been, I'm gonna cry. It has just been so neat and so cool to go to my PO box and it's just been so joyful. So thank you so much just for taking the time out of your day to hand write a card or email me or to send me your, your Christmas photo with your family on it. It truly means so much to me. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my sectional. It doesn't look that bad, but I just feel like if blankets aren't where they're supposed to be or pillows aren't fluffed up, you can have like a super spotless living room, but if you have like a really sad looking sofa or sectional, it just doesn't look clean. So I just like to take a few minutes to go ahead and fluff those. And then I've been vacuuming nonstop because George, our golden doodle, is losing his puppy coat. It's really not that bad, but there he does get white hair on it, mainly on the places he sits. Tiger likes to sit at that top cushion kind of right where I am right now. And so now George thinks he can, but there's a huge weight difference. <laughs> so you can kind of see that cushion starting to dip, but it's so sweet. He just thinks he's so little and can set up there like Tiger. So we just let him, but I like to go ahead and just get those areas vacuumed. The fur is for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up by vacuuming just a few spaces in my living room and my dining room and kind of get the rugs fluffed up and just nice and clean with vacuum lines. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions about my vacuum as well. Um, you guys wanna know the difference between the Dyson and the LG. So this is the LG I'm using. They both are amazing. I feel like the battery life is longer on the LG. It's never died on me. Plus it has a backup battery and they both charge at the same time. So you always have two charged batteries. And then the other main difference is um, it's not like a trigger. You don't have to hold it. It's a button to start. So, you know, if you're older and have arthritis or just don't want to keep pressing a trigger the whole time you're vacuuming, I really love the Dyson. You just turn it on and then when you're done, you turn it off. So if you guys were wondering, that's my answer. I would lean towards the LG. The Dyson is still amazing. It's still worth the money. Um, they pretty much have the same attachments. So the big difference is just kind of the battery life and then how it turns on and how it turns off.
Okay guys, that was my last Christmas clean with me for this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got motivated to get your house clean before everybody shows up. If you're not subscribed to both of my channels, just click right here and you can get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. I do have one more video going up tomorrow on the vlog channel and then I'm just gonna take a few days off for Christmas and then I'll see you guys in a couple of days. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you until then and I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.